Hey there people and welcome back to more Let's Play Fallout 3. It's been a while, I'll admit that. I've just spent the last five or ten minutes catching up on what character I was, what I had and what I was planning on doing. As far as I remember, I was going to finish off the Wasteland Survival Guide, but one thing I need to do, because apparently people have been getting annoyed at me for this, and I'm getting annoyed at myself for this, is go up to my house because I need to check. I need to finally craft the freaking shish kebab. So let's do that. It's been a while since I played Fallout 3, so if I'm not very good, don't blame me. Or well, you can blame me. Uh, that, 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 and that. Now, I don't think I have a workbench in my house yet. I don't have that much money. In fact, speaking of money. Um, uh, 561 caps, not poor, but not exactly well off. I should watch how much I spend. So, what I was going to do, craft the shish kebab, which I will currently do right here. Yeah! Shishka mother fudging bob. Uh, hey. I'll put that on too. See? Shishka bob did 20 damage. Sledgehammer only does 15. And it's got a lot of conditions still to go if I can make more. So, let's put that on to slot 2. And. No. <laughs> there we go. Shishka bob. Stop doing that so close to me. No! <laughs> I love this weapon. So there, I finally got the shish kebab. Uh, I re-equipped the shady hat because the combat helmet, I'm willing to sacrifice one point of damage resistance because the shady hat gives me plus five sneak and one perception. So that's all good. Uh, let me just recheck this. I've still got a fair bit of weight to go. So I'm alright with that. Ooh, what I wanted to do. There we go, my armor's now better condition. So the shady hat. And yeah. Just remember then that I'm on hard mode, so food definitely needed. So let's talk to Moira. You know, I think I've found a new way to Shut up. Uh let's just see. Oh, there was some cigarettes I wanted to sell. So I have that. And that pre-war money. Anything else I don't mind giving you? Oh, that's scotch, vodka, whiskey. Do I have any other? No, nope, I don't really care much for alcohol. There's no point selling that. I may as well get some more and make it better quality. False grenades, false my shish kebab. I don't know, should I sell the sledgehammer? I could just keep it. I think I'll keep it in my house, in case I ever need one, quickly. Just thinking about the future, you know, I can have four of my mines, because I don't need 14. And there you go. More money! Because I don't need random bits of ammo I don't need. Energy cells, my precision cells, mini nukes, shopping cells. I'm pretty sure I sold all my flame of fuel and five millimeter rounds before because I do not need them uh, ooh, you do have a combat helmet I'll buy that off of you good hunting <laughs> uh, what's that back on whatever should I I don't know with the shady hat on I do have 50 sneak and that is awfully good. Maybe I should just wear the shady hat after all. Keep the combat helmet if I really really need it. I don't know. I've got a fair bit of weight whatever I can afford to keep it on me for now. Uh, I still need to talk to you. Hey don't mind the Shut smell. Up. Um, yeah I'm ready to start researching on the last, the last chapter. chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole and how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh? That's deep, man. You need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old technology, 
and I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. Ooh. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first? Ah, uh, researching local history sounds easy. Using old technology sounds interesting. I could check the library. Maybe someone's already written a book like yours. Actually, I'll have to wait a bit. Old technology sounds interesting. I could do the library first, because the library does offer to me a very good way of getting money. Yes. Oh, that sure saved me a lot of time. But I bet their book wouldn't have anything about exploding mole rats, would it? That's true. Books are where the old world kept its knowledge, and libraries are where it kept the books. And there's supposed to be one in Arlington. Ooh. See if it's still there, and if you can download records from its computer. Information dumps like those would be invaluable for rebuilding humanity. Okay, I'll check out my local library. Uh, what do I get? Actually, yeah, I'm a mercenary. What do I get? What's in it for me? The obvious answer would be a book. <laughs> but huh. I guess there might not be any left there. So how about I pay you with good old-fashioned caps? That works for me. Who knows what you could buy with all those caps? It could be anything. It could even be a book. Oh, a book. All right, then I'll check it out. Great. The library should be in Old Arlington, not far from downtown. See if you can download the archives from its computer. If you can't get those, then even the card catalog would be useful. Any little piece of information could help the book. And thus, humanity. Humanity. Whatever. Take now, if I remember correctly, retrieving the complete library archives. I usually get that mixed up with something else. I'm pretty sure I can do it. I think. Because, you know, since it's an optional one, it depends on your skills. And I'm not totally sure if I could do that. And people may get annoyed with me if I don't, but this is my let's play. I know that I do have... If I take some Mentats, I'm pretty sure my science skill does up, I think. Maybe I could take Mentats when I'm there? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out when we actually get there. So we've got to go to Hello. Arlington Library. Let's just take a quick look at where exactly that is. Arlington. Alright then. I haven't even discovered there yet. Uh, then looks like we're gonna have to get there on foot. No fast traveling at all. I can do that. However, if I screw up with uh, some of the battling, don't blame me. All right. Just remembering. Right, where am I going? I'll just go around. Actually, no, I won't. Uh, okay, I'm remembering this is hard mode, so I have to be careful in combat. Let's just equip the Chinese assault rifle. I'll pull that out. If anything, feels like being hostile. Oh, it feels weird playing this game again. I'm actually trying to think. You know, all this playing of Half-Life and Metal Gear Solid. You know, well in MGS I kind of have to think. Kind of, but in Half-Life is just a mindless shooter. Uh, I, I I did get a comment saying if I was going to replay uh, Half-Life Episode 1 and 2. I might. I might if I feel that I have to. Probably not for so... Ooh. No. Okay, I just don't need to assault rifle you. However, I will show off the shish kebab. Slice uncomfortable close-up. Oh yeah. Check it out. Flamies. Shish kebab sets them on fire, for those that may not have known. You know, I think I might just keep this on me at all times. Unless I start getting shot at, then I'll pull out the assault rifle again. Trust me, this thing's pretty powerful now, and look at its condition. So, if I can make more of these and get it more up to condition, this thing will be really overpowered. It really does get overpowered. So yeah, I might redo episode 1 and 2, but I'm not sure. I do remember I had a lot of desync problems when first doing them, so you never know. As for Half-Life 1 and Posing Force and Blue Shift, I most probably will redo them. 
probably not straight away though, because I don't want to spend most of my time redoing old games I've already done, as opposed to, in, to doing games like this that I'm doing for the first time. You get me. I've been down there before, haven't I? Ooh. Haven't I? Maybe that was in another game. Uh, I won't be able to jump back up. Screw it. What? No. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Why? Why? And again, this could be my good chance to... Have I not done this quest already? Have I really not done this quest at all? Have I not? No way. No way have I not done this quest before. Maybe I've just done it so many times I get the freaking feeling that I have. Stay away from me, Brian Wilkes. Uh, I'm gonna have to. This could be my chance of getting bad karma and going back down to neutral. Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. Oh, uh, gosh. Calm down, kid. No, those things will get me. I can't. I gotta keep going. I'll say, I'm not gonna be very nice to this kid. Hey, hey, calm down. It's gonna be okay, I promise. See, if this was, if I was playing as a really bad character, I'd probably just tell him to stop your whining. Unless you don't know what the problem is, I can't help you. Hey, kid, it's okay, I'm a big, tough guy. It feels like I always have that. Am I always playing a strong character? Because I don't feel like it. Oh my god, my voice just changed then. Speech chance? No. Oh, fuck off. Those things. They're. Christ. Fine then, I'm you a big, look strong guy. stronger than all the other grown ups. Can you. Can you protect me? For money. I'd like to help, but I need to know more first. Sorry, kid. Help cost cows, and you look pretty broad to me. I don't know. You look like a tasty snack for a monster. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd like to help you, but I need to know more first. Those big things. I'm only doing They're this so I can get experience from the free quest. They killed everyone. Please, Mister. Please find my papa. Is this him? Please. Please. Okay, I'll go look for your father. Just you get will? away from me. Really? My house is the one closest so to, to the huge sign. sign the old the diner, I know. Please. Please. Find my papa and make him come back. Fudge. I always forget to bleed, take some stuff to get my speech chances better. Nope. No. No. Oh god, it's what's left on my back. Then again, actually getting the key to that secret place isn't really that good anyway. Hide while I search. Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it. But I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Hurry back. Yeah, I totally will be... Whoa. Try and kill yourself. Those! I freaking hate that quest. One, because I've done it so many times before. Two, because the freaking things you have to fight are really annoyingly overpowered. And really annoyingly annoying. But I won't be doing that quest right now because I've got things to do for Moira, who's a much more intelligent and valuable person. Whereas Brian Wilkes, if I could kill children in this game, he'd be the first on my list. That is a strange glitch. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, Arlington Library is kind of difficult to get to because of all this rubble. That glitch is really freaking me out. Uh, so I actually seem to get... How did I get there? Yeah, I have to go all the way around. Alright then. Maybe stick to this highway or something? I don't freaking know. Ah! Ah! ah. Well, since I have to come down here, I may as well raid this place anyway. Got gun shadows. I was actually around a friend's house uh, recently, and they were playing Fallout 3 on the 360. I'm telling you, lock picking on the 360 is so much easier because of the analogs. I mean, I say that I have played it on the PS3. It was a lot easier then because you can like slowly turn it on PC. Kind of, not screw it. There's only whiskey up there. I don't care about whiskey. Yeah, so with the analog you can slowly turn it, whereas on PC you have to press like A to turn to the left, and then it'll like instantly go so it's easier to break. Not that anybody cares. Ooh, I feel like raiding that truck. However, where there's a truck, the 
explosions. <laughs>